Hi camp friends, I'm Mitzi. I'm Jason. And we're back tonight for another night of cabin time from Novus Way, from Luther Ridge, Luther Rock, Luther Springs, and Luther Ranch. And I don't know about you, Jason, but I'm missing hanging out with Chandler for cabin time. And I know I can't. Well, I don't get wait. to hang out with Chandler. Well, that's true. You didn't get to hang out with Chandler, but I'm missing <laughs> hanging out with Chandler for cabin time and can't wait till we can have everybody back on camp together. So, um, tonight's our night, and we're going to start by lighting a candle. Uh oh, if I can get my lighter to work. Oh my goodness. And this is important for us to center our time and to, you know, remember that Christ is here with us when we do cabin time, but it's also extra special important tonight because of what we're going to talk about. So let's start with a song. Jason, where are we playing? Light the Fire by the Doors. No, I don't think so. How about um, this little light? This little light of mine, but can we do it with a little different kind of pep? We can do whatever you want, honey. Let's do that. <laughs> different, different kind of pep. Here we go. This little light of mine. We missed it. We did. This little light of mine. There it is. There's the pep. Here we go. Ready? with your activity. And tonight's reading, Bible reading, is actually called The Light of the World. So now you can see why we sang This Little Light of Mine and why our candle tonight that centers us is so important. So let's hear what the Bible has to say about that. In the middle of the night, a man named Nicodemus came to Jesus. It was a strange time to visit someone, but Nicodemus had many questions about God, and he didn't want to wait. There was a lot to talk about with Jesus. Many people didn't believe Jesus, and Nicodemus wasn't sure what he thought about it all. He also wasn't sure he wanted anyone to see him going to talk. To Jesus. He knew that Jesus was talking about God in a whole 
new way, and some people did not like it. That night, Jesus and Nicodemus talked for quite a while. They argued and wondered together about many things. And then Jesus said, Really, Nicodemus, all you need to know is that God loves you. In fact, God loves everyone. And it's important that you know this and tell everyone that you meet. God wants everyone to know how much they are loved. Nicodemus, God loves this world and everyone in it so much that God sent me, his son, so that everyone would learn how much they are loved. God sent me to save the world, Nicodemus. I am the light of the world. Now, this is Jesus talking. I am the light of the world. I am all that is good and right. And God sent me to light up this world. Unfortunately, people sometimes like darkness better than light. When we do terrible things, the light is not in us. When we are mean, hateful, and horrible, the world is a dark, dark place. But when we do things that are good and right, when we love each other and help one another, God's light shines brightly in the world, and God is glad. Oh, I am the light of the world, Jesus says. You know, I know as a kid and as a counselor on staff at camp and even in seminary and as an adult, sometimes I still have a lot of questions about God. Do you? It depends on the day. Sometimes yeah. the stuff really bothers me and sometimes I don't care. Yeah, that's fair. And like Nicodemus, sometimes questions just you just want to ask them when you mm -hmm. want to ask them. And that's one of the great things about camp is you have a counselor there that you can ask questions. Whatever questions you feel the need to ask, you can ask. And we can't wait to have you back on camp to ask all those wonderful questions that you have. But one of the great things to remember between now and then and forever really is that even if you forget everything else, even if you feel like your brain has so many questions, they just don't even all fit in there. God said, all you have to do is remember that God loves you and God loves everyone. That's pretty easy to remember. God loves you and God God loves everyone. How powerful, how wonderful, what a gift God has given us. And so to remember that, let's hear about today's activity. Hey everybody, I'm Deacon Sue Mendenhall and I'm the program director at Luther Springs and this is Brian, my son who's joining me today. Hello. We have been talking about remembering that Jesus is always with us. You know, sometimes things get a little hard or a little complicated. Sometimes we get a little scared or maybe we mess up. And it's hard to remember that no matter what we do, no matter how we feel, God never leaves us. Jesus is always right there beside us. So we thought kind of a fun way to remember that would be to draw a picture of Jesus. I had one of my cabin time... Um, participants draw this and you can make it look anything any way that you want Jesus as Jesus looks to you and it can be a stick figure or it can be anything. really detailed yeah can be anything so when you've drawn your picture of Jesus maybe find a place to put it you can maybe stick it to your bedroom door you can put it up on the wall in your bedroom or maybe somewhere else in the house and then you can just kind of a little reminder that Jesus is always with you. You can also, I tell you what, can you turn the light off for me? Okay, and you hold on to this. And you can also remember this. You can use your flashlight 
and you can shine it right there and kind of just to kind of remind you that Jesus is the light of the world. And you can even kind of do this neat thing. You can light up behind there and kind of, it just kind of does some neat things and shows you and reminds you that Jesus' light is everywhere, even in the darkest places. So. Oh my goodness. Thank you for that great activity for tomorrow. Cannot wait to try that. And now friends, it is time to pause the video and share with everyone in your cabin group or even those people who might be far away that you're emailing or Zooming or calling with, share your highs and your lows and your God moments. And we will be back with you as soon as you're done. You can press play again. Welcome back from your highs and your lows and your God moments. We remember tonight that Jesus says, I am the light of the world. And so we are going to sing, you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. You are the Thank you for questions. And people we can ask. And people we can ask. But thank you also. But thank you also. For the easy answer. For the easy answer. That you love me. That you love me. And you love everyone. And you love everyone. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. For your son. For your son. The light of the world. The light of the world. Amen. Good night, friends. See you tomorrow.